Sun today. I was talking to myself today. You know what? I, I do have a specific uh, situation that I wish I can become able to overcome. Um, I just want to share in my vlog that um, I, I don't know if I have a spiritual battle in such a way that a demon is attacking me. I'm not really sure if it is such as that or it may seem to be probably a discipline or chastisement from God. Because, um, you know what, I, I want to be honest that I have affection for God because when I talk to God, that is the time that I feel comforted. When I talk to God, I tell Him everything. Um, you know what? I consider the Lord as my best friend. I tell the Lord that there are so many longing that I have as a human being. Um, there are those things that I would long for physical intimacy, that um, a spiritual experience that I experience, such as um, I would like to share to you that um, there, there was a moment that I was doing my artwork, I was watercoloring some pictures and images of a story that I would like to, to do because I was, uh, I was making a story regarding uh, the revelation that God has given me that he speaks into my heart that i was saying uh the joy of being a child um when the revelation of the lord that one cannot enter heaven unless he become like a child from the book of matthew um and then i was realizing you know what i do have my struggle that i'm i'm, I'm with my parents and they are assisting me uh, through my a journey in life that I am blessed because I have my parents around and they they give me the sustenance um, the, the shelter because I'm not yet making my own money because um, I am an artist and I'm still pursuing my arts that I can sell paintings that is really the pursuit that I have and the gift and the talents that God has given me is singing and songwriting because I have a very uh, uh, affectionate expression of love through music because you know uh, as a singer songwriter I really consider music as very great essential and instrument for the speaking to the soul of individuals of people to heal the world because um, I was telling God that, you know what, Lord, um, we have to be really uh, saving souls. And we can do that together when you allow me to flow with your spirit that I can minister to somebody and share the word and save souls. And I, I really realized that um, it's very beautiful that the saving of souls can be done by hearing the word the faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word so i was realizing uh, i was telling myself that you know in the life that there is longing for um for the life to flourish to prosper and to pick oneself up from the dust to rise up and become great because of the spirit that convinces us with conviction inside of us that we cannot be less of any of a value that God desires for us to be. You know, because when, when, when it comes to my personal life, um, I really want to make my dreams come true. Because um, with the will of the Lord in my life, as I try to understand what He wills for me, it is always the same story as everybody else that when we have the greatness inside of us we don't want ourselves to be dragged in the pit of destruction but rather we want to build ourselves up just like um jude 120 build your life in the most holy faith praying in the holy spirit firm in love 
welcoming the mercy of Jesus that leads to eternal life so you know I was really inspired I am really inspired because everywhere in the internet I can really find people who are promoting the gospel which is um, insisting not just insisting but um, with the love for God and the love from God it is ministering to people that it, it, it is passing on to everyone that's why it's really amazing that when a great army of believers are rising up for the cause to deliver the message of the gospel um, whoever we can reach out to is really valuable to save a life you know what I was even crying to God because I really want to make sense in my life because I see certain things that happens to the world um, some people are longing for their loved ones because of the hurt and the heartbreak from loss and some people are hurting because of the struggle with the sustenance to save them from starvation because they rely from charity some people who are destitute and some people are crying out because of the violence that are attacking them and sadly some people even lost lives because of the work of the devil that's why you know um it, even if i myself i have a spiritual struggle that there are moments that i breathe out so strong that sometimes i would try to discern um is it attack from a demon or is it a chastisement from the lord and then i would just realize you know a preacher is always right the brother david digger hernandez was saying um, we cannot just blame the demon for whatever spiritual struggle that we go through because it might mean that we just need to discipline ourselves we just need to have discipline of the flesh so i really recognize that you know in my spiritual struggle i think i'm just gonna posture myself in prayer because you know i always pray to god and i'm so glad that i have my cell phone that i record my prayers and there's something that reminds me about what i'm praying to god because um i need the holy spirit to remind and reveal john 14 26 that the holy spirit who intercedes for us uh, uh, reminds and reveals to us teaches us all things that he has taught us that's why you know it's very beautiful affection between a human person with a soul longing for God is the prayer it, it's really it is really beautiful when I experience prayer because as, 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 a, as a person I have watched earlier from the feast the priest was saying the prayer is an, an expression of affection for the Lord and then I was saying to myself that wow I have been longing to give love to God because I was realizing um, God said how do you say that you love me if you don't love your brother and he also said that whatever you do to the least of my brethren you did it to me so I was realizing you know there are those times that I cry because I have been really longing to love God because you know to be honest um, I am very well protected in this place we are in a village and we are far from uh, from people who might have the virus and you know I am in a situation that I'm very very protected in the season of pandemic and I, I really recognize the grace that God has given me so I was telling God that Lord please use me for for your pleasure because life indeed is for your pleasure so uh, let me have all of my attention to the Bible and you know what it's really amazing that there's a preacher who's very cute his name is Matt and I really get inspired about his messages and how the Holy Spirit has filled him up you know what it is really true that that when you get to be involved in the spirit it is really the greatest of all romance 
um, when when you have intimacy with the Holy Spirit, it is really the greatest of all romance. Because, you know, I would hear preachers speak about the Lord. I would hear women and men of God speaking about the love of God and the messages of the gospel, the love for humanity, especially when it comes to love for humanity. The Wisdom chapter 7 says that um, loving humanity, loving humankind, intelligence, concise, lucid, pure, um, does not corrupt, are the 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 truth about what wisdom is in a person when she wisdom enters us um, so uh, what i mean to say is when it comes to wisdom i i, I